Hello guys, welcome to Money Machine. My name remains a real life draw, and today I'll be reviewing five of the most trusted payment platforms on the internet. And the reason I'm doing this is to make you understand what platform is best for you to use as a remote worker. There are various payment platforms on the internet that are used by dubious people to collect the money from persons who have labored to get this money through financing and all of that. But today I'm going to be reviewing this five payment platform before you call a platform trusted a payment platform trusted you must examine two things first does it provide the services it's promised to render to you as a member or as someone who has registered or signed up for that service for instance if you have something like web money that has asked that told you you can withdraw your money into your bank account and then you cannot withdraw the money to your bank account another thing to consider is the fact of service running down there are various payment platforms that when you try to send money you cannot send money from the account to another person using the very same platform these are issues that leads to a payment platform not to be trusted and i will say here are the first five of my most trusted payment platforms. And the first of it on my list is PayPal. PayPal was created in 2000, in 1998, in 2000. It was created under the name Confinity and today it has become one of the leading financial institutions online or digital. PayPal has grown to be one of the favorites for companies and business their transactions internationally across the globe. So PayPal is one of the best platforms you can use to get your money in and out. Nevertheless, I'm going to review this and show us some of the limitations and the advantages of PayPal. And for registration, PayPal is easy to have is an email address and your phone number and you will get your account registered. And for verification, all you need is an ID card and then a USA bank account. Why do they stipulate a USA bank account? I am still wondering about that till today. Because if I am a Nigerian, I should be able to use a Nigerian bank account to verify my PayPal. If you are in the UK, you should be able to use a United Kingdom bank account to verify your PayPal. Why is it a USA bank account? So that's one of the problems we face on PayPal. And then we look into the fees. The fees is between free to about 5%. If you are sending from a personal account to another personal account, it's free. If you are sending from other accounts, there are little, little funds percent, one within 1.9% to about 5%, 5 they will deduct from the account. The advantages of PayPal is that it is well known it is well recognized and then you have the buyer's protection right when you use paypal to buy goods you can also ask for a refund within a period of time that you know okay if this guy doesn't give me this i can easily get my money back and so the limitations of paypal are not much we have two major limitations in, in paypal first of it is that it is not available in all of the countries of the world. They have selected some countries and then neglected some other countries from using their services. One of the countries they have neglected is my own country, Nigeria. I feel bad about it, but but as not the company. So some countries have been neglected and have been, you know, left aside 
that's one of the limitations so for us that are nigerians we cannot use paypal service we cannot send money from one person to another from nigeria we can not even receive funds we can only use paypal for shopping and after the limitations of various countries like you know i've mentioned before there's also so many wrong reasons of getting banned you can just wake up in the morning and your account is banned your account is blocked you can no longer use the account then you are going to wait for 180 days to be able to receive your phone and that was what exactly happened to me first time i was going to create a paypal account because i'm not a nigerian of course i could not create an account as a nigerian so i had to look for another alternative i used iceland i got this icon account created and remotax paid me my first money because the reason why i had to create paypal was remotax was not using any other payment method except for paypal and i was a young boy just graduated and i needed some cash so my money was held there the account was later blocked was held there for more than two years after 180 days i couldn't withdraw because i did not have the USA bank account, neither do I have a domiciliary account in my country, and neither do I have a card that I could receive money until maybe two years later I was able to withdraw that money. So if you are a remote worker, I will advise you don't use PayPal except it is necessary, except it is very, very necessary. Or you live in eligible countries that do not have issues with PayPal. PayPal doesn't look into their um, issues like ban them, doesn't give them, you know what I'm talking about. So, then you can use them. But if you are from places like Ghana, Nigeria, and some of these other countries that people don't allow their services to be run in those countries, please do not use PayPal, okay? The next person I'm going to talk about is Scree. Scree was created in 2000 and a very brilliant, very brilliant platform. It was called the Money Booker. It was used for financing or getting um it was used for getting funds to casino betting and all of these other stuff like forex trading and all of that. And then they had a way of doing it then. It was money bookers from 2000 to 2008 we had acquired the pay safe to date card and we started using card and later on the whole company became a pay safe group where they had other financial apps under the supervision of this group like the Netella app so school has been great and it has been functioning well you can easily get money into the account and withdraw it to your bank account what requirements are just email address and phone number and you put in your profile details remember this you need to put the address that you have a document to support it. If you don't have a document to support an address, do not fill it at first until you have a document to support it. Because in the next phase of verification, they'll be asking you to support that address with a document. And if you don't have your paper, your school account can be there for a very long time. So the advantages of using school is very simple. Now the fees for school is between 1.45% to 7%. The same thing applies to Netella, which is also under the same pay safe group. For 1.5%, 4-5%, you have to use that to send money from one school account to another school account. Then if you are to send, withdraw money from your school account to your bank account, is about 3.5%. To your bank card, is about 7%. The advantages of screen over PayPal is just simple. It had it allows more countries and to send money to other persons' bank account directly instead of within the wallet. Not just screen to screen, but from you know to bank account. And then the millions of screen is the fees and also that they had. They also have some countries they do not allow to use their service. One of it is Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, you cannot send money from your screen wallet to another wallet and so forth. So that's how it's run in Bangladesh. And then another reason, another limitations for screen 
is the bank rate. Screw uses bank rate. Also, PayPal uses the bank rate. So those are limitations for both Screw and then PayPal. The next one I'm going to talk about is Pioneer. Pioneer was founded in 2005 by Yuval Tal and Ben Yanni. It was uh, a very great institution, I must say, that has helped freelancers over the years to be able to withdraw their money and remote workers. Its main aim was to bridge the gap between employees and freelancers and companies and businessmen. To companies and businessmen. So, it helps in creating three bank accounts that are the major currencies in the world today, which are the United States dollar, the euros, and the GBP, the Great Britain pounds. So it allows you to receive money with those accounts, giving you a digitalized account details. What do I mean? It gives you an account detail. That is, if, for instance, my name is Ruela John, I have a pioneer account, I open a pioneer account, it's going to give me an IBAN, it's going to give me um, a bank number where somebody in the United States can send money to that account and I'm going to receive it. The same thing applies to Euro, the same thing applies to GDP. Alright? So for the registration, you don't need anything much, you just need an email address and phone number like the others. Then your verification, you need an ID card and your bank account, your local bank account, unlike PayPal who request for your a USA bank account, so you need a local bank account. The fees is between three or zero to three percent. Yeah, if you are sending from Pioneer to Pioneer, it is zero fees, no fees. But if you are withdrawing the card one to two fees, sometimes two percent fees like that. Advantages of Pioneer is that you have three bank accounts with your bank account the three major currencies where you have your bank details that can be used to receive money. Nevertheless, you cannot receive money for personal use. It is only for business purposes, strictly business and business alone. What is the limitations of Pioneer? One of the limitations is that you cannot withdraw anything less than $50. $50. You cannot withdraw anything less than because you more than $50 to be able to send from one pound and to another pound and half to also be able to withdraw it from the more than $50. And pretty nice. Then the next one I'm going to talk about is a term. Wow. A term was created in 2015 and it creates a wallet and peer to peer service which has grown over the years, I must confess. It's now used to fund derive, fund your pioneer using a time now and all of that platform like that. So it uses a peer-to-peer -peer service and it's great. So can it be trusted very well? Yes. I have used it, I've completed, I've used it several times. And one of the things that introduced me to ATM was because I was working with remote tax when people did what they did. Remote tax thought of it and gave us an opportunity and they started paying us with ATM. So I began to receive my cash through ATM. That was how I got to know about ATM. And it was beautiful. One of the reasons why I use ATM is because of the parallel market. It doesn't use the bank rate, it uses the parallel market whenever, whatever time we needed it. And the requirement for registration is just simple the email address and then phone number. Verification has two to three le levels. The first level is the verification of your phone number, which allows you to do $1,000. The second level of verification is for $25,000, which you have to impute your ID card, your government issued ID card or international passport. And the third level is a hands which you have to put your address and also an ID card. This allows you to have unlimited transactions on ATM. Okay, so that's that for the verification. The fees is between three to five, six percent. The the free the free is that you can send from one uh, ATM account to another ATM account 
for free until you send above $2,500. As soon as you send above $2,500, they will start to collect about 1.1% fees from your account. And then for other purposes like withdrawing and all of that, you have to pay for fees, commission fees, and it's pretty fast. You have to pay for fees between 3 to 5%. Now, what are the advantages of ATM? ATM has over 400 currencies in the bag, over 400 currencies, and it uses parallel market. That is to say, you can use 400 currencies. Why isn't it here? Limitations. It does not create a bank details for you. You don't have a bank details with ATM. It's just like a digital wallet. What happens is that you send money in, you send money out. And you can send money from any part of the world to any part of the world with ATM within Mini because it uses the local bank system. Best of it all, you will leave the last, the champion of it all for the last. And that is WISE. It was a beautiful thing to behold when I saw WISE. Unfortunately, that I saw WISE very late in my remote work of so. I met Wise maybe 2021. 20, Funny. And Wise have been around since 2011. He was led in 2011 by Christo Kaman and Tavat Hiribokos. They provided international provided international transfer services across the globe. Beautiful service. Can they be trusted? Yes. I say yes and yes and yes again. They are financially registered and they have insurance up to $85,000. The money is insured up to $85,000. And to register, you just need an email address and then a phone number. For verification, you need an ID card and to fund your account with just, with just $20. You can use your international passport as well. Fees are the sweetest thing from zero to very minor fees i don't know how to call it i sent money from euro to euro account for free without any charges without any you know hidden fees but when you want to convert you know of course they're going to take some little little fees from it but sending money yes there are so so tiny fees they collect for sending or receiving money. Receiving money is most time free. Sending money is what costs. Um, very minor fee. I cannot call it 1%. I cannot call it 2%. Less than 1%. That is how WISE works. And so the advantages of WISE is that it gives you 11 bank accounts. 11. You have the USD, you have the GBP, you have the Euro, you have the Canada dollar, the New Zealand dollar, the Australian dollar the Hungarian for it, the Singapore dollar, the Romanian currency, and about 11 of them making you in charge. You know what I mean? So this, this is one of the services they render. They give you these bank details, meaning that somebody in Singapore can send you Singapore dollars, and in less than seconds, in seconds, you get the money in your WISE account, in your bank account the same thing applies to euro except for us that has a little delay the same thing applies to pounds the same thing applies to hungarian dollars hungarian for which i have been using this service very sweet service but there's just one limitation just one the limitation is the parallel market when you want to withdraw to your bank account when you want to withdraw to your bank account. For instance, like I've always used the fact, sorry, I am a Nigerian, I am still in Nigeria, I still live in Nigeria. So I've always used Nigerian examples. So please don't be offended. Now, if you want to use a wise to send to Nigeria, as at when you could even receive money like that from wise to to our bank account, it's going to be at the rate of 520 naira or 550 naira. A little higher above the bank rate, but not up to the parallel market rate. 
unlike we have FTM. So that is the only disadvantages I see in having the WISE account. Okay, my recommendation, my recommendation is this. Two accounts is just what you need. Except your client is specific on having to send you money in any other account. Two, you need a WISE account where you can send your bank details and receive money very fast from any place where you're working and then you need an ATM account where you can easily convert that money to your bank to your account at what at a parallel rate note that wise is also working at a parallel rate when converting when converting you must know what the rate is and check ATM so you can use these two together i use them together and they are both great hey guys that is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it or i hope you learned one or two please subscribe like and click on the notification button you can ask your questions in the comment section and i'll be right there to answer you the next um my series is still coming up don't worry i'm cooking it up delicious meal we will all be millionaires See you some other time.